Hi guys and welcome back, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this apple crumble loaf cake. Let's begin. To get started on the recipe, you'll want to go ahead and grab yourself a mixing bowl and into the bowl place your butter and your light brown sugar and beat them together until they are combined. You're not really looking for light and fluffy, you're just looking for very well combined. You can then mix that until it's reached that consistency and then add in your egg and just let it mix in until it's fully incorporated. You will notice a change in the consistency and this is completely normal. It'll become much looser because the egg is at quite a lot of moisture added to a small amount of mix. Don't forget to give the bowl a good scraping down just to incorporate any bits that may not have been fully worked in from earlier on. You can then go ahead and add in your flour, raisin agent and grain spices, followed by the chopped apples. And you'll just want to fold this in by hand as it gives you a bit more control over whether you over mix or you don't over mix and it's just a lot easier as a beta attachment might actually destroy the, sh the size of the apple because you do want some big chunks in there and just mix until it's a very kind of thick cake batter that is what you're looking for you're not looking for it to be runny now we can make the crumble topping so into a medium sized bowl place your flour ground spices followed by the sugar and mix them together just until combined you're not looking to take it any further than that you can use less spices if you want to but i like it quite with a lot of grain spice then you can add in your butter and just work this in by hand as it's such a small amount there's no point using a food processor just rub the butter in, into the dry ingredients using your hands and you'll, you'll eventually achieve that crumbly kind of consistency that you're looking for some bigger bits some smaller bits and then mix in the oats and just do this roughly you don't need it to be perfect if it'll just add some more texture and taste which is perfect for this recipe Set it aside until you need it later on, then grab yourself a loaf pan which has been lined with some parchment paper or a parchment case like this and then spoon in the cake batter into your loaf pan and just try and level it up as best as you can now but it doesn't really matter, you can just do it in a minute anyway. And then go ahead and add the crumble topping directly on top of the cake and you may think oh there's quite a lot there there's really not it's the perfect amount if the apples add so much flavor and moisture this crumble will be a little bit on the drier side but will work perfectly with the rest of the cake trust me it works bake it off all that information will be in the blog post down below and here is what the cake looks like once it's been fully baked and allowed to cool it doesn't look anything special but let me tell you it's all in the and because of the big chunks of apple, there's a lot of flavour with the spices, it all works so well. So you'll want to cut yourself a generously sized portion. I find you probably get between 6 and 8 portions out of a loaf, which is the perfect amount. And here you are, you've got that kind of dense but very moist cake with chunks of apple and the crumble top. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more from me. And I'll be back again very soon with another recipe, so join me then. In the meanwhile, don't forget to check out the description. There'll be a link to this recipe, a link to my blog, and links to all of my social media. So don't forget to go and follow me over on there, as I am trying to be a little bit more active during November and December. But that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed. Bye, guys.